Thursday night, the Philly Pops and a group called the Classical Mystery Tour team up to honor a major milestone for one of the Beatles' most popular albums. I caught up with two of the show's stars to find out why Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is still regarded as one of the most revolutionary albums of all time. recognizable within the first few notes. Their popularity spans generations, but it was the Beatles' 1967 Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band that changed music forever. Rolling Stone calls it the most important rock and roll album ever made. That was the first time that anybody really thought through a concept album or, you know, making the album kind of tour rather than the band tours. That's because new sounds were created for Sgt. Pepper's. Sounds that were hard to recreate at that time during a live performance. Here's one. I won't tell you. Yeah, figure this one out. That sound, I don't know how they got that sound. Nobody knows what they used in the studio, but that's just right on the money. Their music also utilized orchestral arrangements. So now, on the album's 50th anniversary, the Philly Pops is bringing those famous notes to the Kimmel Center stage. We're able to actually recreate these things live with an orchestra and, and mix the sound for the audience that it sounds really good and close to the original recordings. Jim Owen and Paul Curatolo are part of the Classical Mystery Tour. The group looks and sounds like the original Fab Four. They've toured the world, playing exclusively with symphony orchestras. Together with the Philly Pops, their show will feature songs not only from that revolutionary album, but other Beatles fan favorites as well. When people walk out of the theater, everybody is definitely <coughs> on a high and uplifted because the, the songs are so great and the message is so good. All you need is love.